Today, we're going to be talking about Elon Musk and that he has actually been subpoenaed again by Johnny Depp. It is a reissue because obviously with the actual court case being pushed forward to next year, which sucks, these all need to go back out. So we got him, we got James Franco, Tasha Van Rie. Document requests. This is for good old Elon Musk. Request number one, all documents or communications you reviewed and or relied upon in preparation for your deposition. Request number two, all communications between you and her relating to any allegations of injuries or sustained by her as a result of any conduct by Mr. Depp. Request number three, all communications between you and her relating to any allegations of this or this committed by either him or her. Request number four, all communications between you and her regarding Mr. Depp. Number five, all communications between you and her between March 7th 2013 and March the 15th, 2013. Then you got all communications between him and her between May 23rd, 2014 and June the 1st, 2014. But again, August 16th and August 24th, 2014. All communications then between those two between December 24, 2014 and January the 1st, 2015. But it does actually go a little bit more because, you know, we've got ooh, two more pages to go through. Then they want all communications between her and him between January 24th and February the 4th of 2015. Then they want all communications between those two in March 2015. All communications between those two in August of 2015. Then they want all communications again between those two between November 25th and January the 1st, 2016. All communications between those two of April 20th and May the 1st, 2016. All communications between those two from May 20th and June 15th, 2016. All communications between those two between June 15th, 2016 and the present relating to Mr. Depp. That one there, where it's coming into it now, is literally anything that you ever spoken about from them until now, over the last five years, I want it from you. This can be emails, it could be text messages, phone calls, voicemails, letters, handwritten letters, anything. Communication between other people which go between them. He wants everything, rightfully so as well, because he wants to get his career back. He wants to be back on board and be like, I told everyone how much of a horrible person she really is. But then it goes on, request number 16. All communications between those two, between June 15th, 2016 and the present, relating to the relationship she had with Mr. Depp. Number 17. All communications between those two, between June 15th, 2016 and the present, relating to the divorce action. But then it comes into a lot of the ones which... I absolutely love. Request number 18. All communications between those two between June 15th, 2016 and the present relating to her alleged donations of the proceeds from the divorce action to the ACLU. Same with the Children's Hospital. Did you talk about this? We want to know because she hasn't paid them. We know that because we have this letter by here proving it. Then you've got request number 20. All communications between you two between June 15th to the present relating to any donations made on her behalf. Which is what we have seen. We have seen things come in and say, oh, can you put this in her name? And it's like 500 grand. So again, we know who that was from because it was from Elon Musk. Then you've got request number 21. All documents and communications regarding any donations by an anonymous donor made on her behalf and or at her recommendation to the Children's Hospital of LA or the ACLU from 2016 to the present, including, without limitation, the anonymous donor, referencing the correspondence that is attached hereto as Exhibit 1 and is bait-stamped Children's Hospital LA of this. And we know which one that one is. That is, again, from Elon Musk.
then requests number 22 and 23. All communications between the both of them between June 15th, 2016 to the present relating to the divorce action and communications between them two from November 1st, 2018 to the present relating to the defamation action. Now, this is the one I want to see. This is what I want to know. All communications between Elon Musk and her relating to the Sun case. That is the one that is going to be the huge bombshell. Because why would she speak to him about it? Unless she was getting money, which has come out now that it seems like she's not even paying her own legal bills. Who is ACLU? Is it Elon Musk? Or is it Roberta Kaplan and her law firm? Because they're still besties. There's so much to go through and there's just so much info that is going to come out. Discovery is going to be incredible. Everything that comes through, everything that comes forward, we are going to see a hell of a lot of information. And we're going to see people get involved who people are going to be like, why is that person involved? Why are they being mentioned? There's going to be so much. It's going to be glorious. But between the sun, you know, what's going to happen? Because obviously on the sun is owned by uh, Rupert Murdoch. Rupert Murdoch's son is actually on the board for Tesla. Who owns Tesla? Elon Musk. So obviously, you know, she used to go out with him. She cheated on Johnny Depp with Elon Musk in their own bed because we do have this by here, which we have the photos. We have the swimsuit clad AH is caught on surveillance tape cuddling up to Elon Musk. This was actually one month after she got married to Johnny Depp. I mean, why would she act that way with another man? Especially in an elevator which is going up to the private floor. Which is owned by Johnny Depp because he owns all the apartments on that floor. You know? And it's, you know, it's kind of interesting because you've also had the concierge come out and said no. We had messages come down saying, oh, can you please let uh, Elon come up and use the private elevator. So, you know, it's just weird. Because, first of all, when she's in that... Why would she hug him like that? And why would he be behind her, you know, like that? Because that's what couples do. But, uh, you know, it's interesting to see. And it's going to be very, very interesting when it comes forward in the next couple of months with the whole discovery. And I really do hope that uh, he doesn't do a James Franco, which he tried doing before. And I don't want this to be leaked. I don't want this to go out to the public. I want this under lock and key which is exactly what he did for his last one. So fingers crossed it doesn't happen. If you are new to the channel, please like and subscribe, hit that notification bell for future updates, and I'll see each and every one of you soon.